Well, uh, for a number of reasons. First is that, of course, our ETH has been with us for a long time. Uh, but uh, recently, this um, ETH has also been associated with this currency situation where we get confused. You get so confused with that, Ethereum. That's right, Ethereum. Yeah. So we thought, you know, we don't want to get confused. And so that was one reason. The other is ETD is a more, uh, more in keeping with our focus and our uh, focus on design. So Ethan Allen design, I thought was good and also takes away from this confusion between the two, uh, these two names. All right, we've got that one out of the way. Let's talk about how's business. Uh, I assume it is pretty doggone good, uh, given uh, the fact that people are moving, uh, rebasing either from city to suburb or from suburb back into the city. Uh, how's business, and are you, what are you finding in terms of uh, uh, backlogs and bottlenecks in production, number one, and also rising prices? Yes, you know, of course, as you know, uh, uh, about a year, a little over a year back, uh, when the crisis started, we had to close over 250 locations, uh, furlough over 4,000 people. And then we came back towards the end of the summer. And, and as you said, people's interest in the homes started to increase. And the result was that we have had, you know, you might say record sales now. Uh, one of the advantages we have is that, first of all, you know, we have uh, the right kind of product lines. And then secondly, we have the opportunity of combining a personal service of about 1,500 interior designers with technology. I think if we had not invested in technology like 3D, virtual reality, in the last four or five years, we would be in a much more of a difficult position because of the fact that 75% of what we sell is custom made in our workshops in North America. Now that's quite different from the general industry where most of the time they at least sell a lot of what they have in stock, not custom. So custom is tremendously important. It was a challenge, but became an opportunity with the involvement of our interior designers, with involvement of technology and the fact that we, you know, it was not an easy decision in the last 10, 15 years when globalization, commoditization took all manufacturing out of North America. We said mm -hmm. we're going to stay here. And we stayed here, and today that's a great advantage. Now, having said this, we are also impacted by uh, uh, service issues. For instance, raw materials. While we make the products, the fabrics, for instance, come from outside. Foam comes from somewhere else. Lumber. So we are meeting those challenges. We are making improvements. We have very high backlogs, but I think in the next four to six months, we'll catch up. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.